All right, welcome back. For this project, you will need construction paper, scissors, tape, and a marker. So the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this part right here about an, a little less than an inch or so and give it a crease so that I know exactly where to cut it and I don't need to mark it with a marker. If you can get away with marking your lines that we'll do from here on out with a pencil, that would be best. I just used a Sharpie so that you could see the lines better. So set that strip um, to the side. Fold your paper this way. Crease it down. And then you're gonna use your strip again. And you can use a pencil for this. I'm using a marker again so you can see it better gonna draw a line and to make the lantern part we're gonna need to copy this line all the way down but notice that I'm lining up the top of that to that line so when I cut I don't want to pass that line right there so using your strip go all the way across Once you do a couple of these, you probably don't need to even use the strip. You could just use your scissors and cut those strips in there. So I'm just gonna stay on the lines, stopping when I get to the top line right there. If you look these up on Pinterest, there's a ton of designs for Chinese lanterns. This is just the basic one so that you could add paint dots, you could add patterns. Um, there's a really neat picture at the end of the video that gives you other suggestions you can do with this. Now you wouldn't want to fold it this way because you can see how those creases fold inward. You want them to fold outward like this. And you can connect these edges using a stapler, glue, or a piece of tape. I'm just gonna use tape here, kind of fold my edge over, make that secure. Same thing on the other side. Now, you can tell that, you can definitely see that Sharpie on one side. So, if you do yours in pencil, it would probably be better so that it looks the same on both sides. Now, that strip that we initially cut out is going to serve as the handle. Again, get you a piece of tape or stapler. And I put mine kind of over that tape so that I just kind of hide that a little bit. Same thing on this side. And there it is. The fastest project ever. So yeah, you can decorate these. You can look up on Pinterest for more ideas. Here's some right here. Hope you had fun and I will see you next time.